Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's soul channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With your head high. One thing I want to tell this person straightforward is that you need them before God. You worship the Lord. Now with your head high, walk in your purpose. Because anyone that can kneel down before God, that can surrender to God, that can submit before God, can stand up to anything. Now, you have submitted to the Lord. You are still submitting to God. You are still working for the Lord. You are still under the Lord. You are still worshipping Him. You are still kneeling down before God. Child of God, God said, I should tell you. He said, forget them. Walk in your purpose. Walk in your purpose with your head high. With that confidence, with knowing that, you know, sometimes I see myself as if I'm guided with lions when I'm walking. I feel this boldness in me that the, the angels of the Lord encamp around me. You understand? When I'm ready for warfare, when I'm, when I'm ready to war in the spiritual realm, when I'm ready to pray, I don't see myself as if it is me that is there. I see it as if it is God. And truly, when you give it to God, God will be there. And you will walk high. You will walk with your eye, with your head high. Knowing that now God is on your side. You can confront that demon. You can confront that power. Forget about them that are against your purpose. Walk with your head high. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The only time you are permitted to bow down to the ground, it is when you are casting your crown before the Lord. It is when you are worshiping God. It is when you are saying, Lord, here I am. It is when you are saying, Lord, my life is in your hands. Oh God, take over all that concerns me. That is the only place you can just bow down your head. You can't bow down your head to Satan. You cannot bow down your head to that challenge. Forget about what they think about you, child of God. Walk in your purpose with your head high. Knowing that he that is with you, it is more than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I just feel like preaching right now. Glory, Abba Father. Walk with your head high. Carry yourself with that humble dignity. Knowing that there is a God that stands by you. Knowing that even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. Forget about the threats that come with the shadow of death. Forget about the pestilence, with the, with, with, how ugly they may look when they appear. Walk with your head high, knowing that there is a mantle. There is a mantle, there is a sword of the Lord upon your hands that can slaughter any other thing. Do you know why? Because you have already bowed down to God. God will not allow you to bow down to any other thing. Why? Because his glory, he will not share it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible said Paul and Silas, they were thrown in the prison. Why were they thrown? Because they, they, they delivered the damn second. We should already know the story. They deliver. Why was they thrown? In order to kill their purpose. In order to silence their purpose. Right in that prison. The Bible said they will even send message. They will send message to brethren. I say rejoice. Someone that is in prison is sending a message. To someone who has freedom and say rejoice. I say again rejoice always. Eh? Because this is a way that they understand that they have already submitted to God. So the prison gates cannot hold them down. And they have taken it. If this prison is how God wants us to end, fine. But if it is not, this is how it's not going to end. To the glory of let him take the glory. If they have ended in that prison, they will still go to heaven. Yes. Because when Jesus was killed, he didn't end there. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. No matter how the journey we end, it's going to be to the glory of God. So you have to walk with your head high, child of God. You can't submit to witches. Mm -mm, it's an error. 
You can't submit to oppression. Mm -mm, it's an error. You can't submit to spiritual husband, spiritual wife. It is an error. You can't submit to failure. It is an error. With your head high, walk in your purpose. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. After they were being thrown in a prison, one would think that they will forget about their purpose. They will forget about their work with the Lord. What do they do? The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 16, in verse 25, the Bible says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed. They prayed. In prayer, they were still in their purpose. That is what it means. Because when you are in your purpose, solution will come. No matter how dark the situation is. When you remain in your purpose, hallelujah. They were in their purpose. If they were out of their purpose because they were in the prison, they would not have been able to pray. They would now not God, complain. Ah, I was doing God's work. Oh, ah, now I'm in the prison. Oh, ah, what happened again? How ah, am I going to do this? If I had known, I would not have healed that girl. No, they remain in their purpose. They forget about all of the persecution. They forget about what the man that put them in the prison said before the judge and said, ah, this, these people trouble the city. They trouble the city, the wickedness of men. Hallelujah. The Bible said they, they put all of that aside. They prayed. When you pray, it means that you are walking in your purpose. When you fast, it means that you are walking in your purpose. When you confront that situation that has been confronting you, it means that you are walking in your purpose. When you go for that job that they say you cannot get, you are walking in your purpose. When you pray for that marriage that people said it can never happen, you are walking in your purpose. Don't just be silenced. Because when they silence you, it means that you are bowing down to them. It means that you are casting your crown. It means that you are removing yourself from your purpose. The Bible said they prayed and they sang praises unto the Lord. They remain in their, in their purpose in that prison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, and the prisoners heard them. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundation of the prison was shaking, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone bound were loose. Walk in your purpose, hallelujah! Walk in your purpose, child of God. I pray for you. <clears throat> May you not cast your crown before the enemies in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.